And many of them have actually decided that they don't want to live this life anymore uh, and that they actually don't really respect the way they were making money. And I, I had one trader in particular who has actually vacated to the island of Kauai in Hawaii and he took his family with him and he wrote me, he wrote me this. He said, I read your book and I enlist myself to you because everything you said is true. And then he said, for 27 years, I lived a life of slavery in a prison called NYMEX. This is the New York Mercantile Exchange where oil is traded. I have liberated myself. I imagine, imagine my surprise when I discover the less I have, the happier I am. I used to wake up, pick out clothes to wear from a closet that is glutinous to say the least, get in a car that costs way too much money with shining emblems on either side to show that I was wealthier than everyone else. I would go and screw the world over by buying and selling oil I have never seen to other people who screw people over and so on, just so we could get rich and buy stuff we don't need. Okay, let me just cut in for a second. So we'll, get, we'll, we'll continue to this, with this letter, but let me get this straight. There's a, an energy trader who is as corrupt as the day is long, who's slinging futures contracts like a crack dealer in the ghetto, forcing people in North Africa to revolt, causing women and babies to starve to death. Now he's in Hawaii, he's repenting. He found God. He doesn't want to live the life no more. And he's writing to you, author of this book, saying, you opened my eyes to this. I don't want to be a crook anymore. Let me tell you who this guy is. It doesn't matter how many letters you write. You're going to hell, buddy. And you're going to burn for eternity because you're a crackhead. Just like all those Nymex dealers. You're going to burn forever in hell with Jamie. All right, continue.